Alright, back again. Today we got out the Xbox, and I figured we'd put in this game here. Ninja Gaiden. So, put that in and play some of that. It's another really fun one to have for the Xbox. Um, Graphics-wise, it's really good. Um, you can pick it up for a couple of different platforms. You don't have to necessarily pick it up for the Xbox, but um, yeah, it is uh, a good game. Good game to have. I will do. The evil dark dragon blade. A legendary sword, said to have been carved out of the bones of a black dragon. It brought plague and death to the world during the age of ancient myth. It has been sealed by those of the dragon lineage since the dawn of history because of its incredible capacity for evil, made possible by the souls of the vanquished black dragons that dwell within it. It is said that if the blade seal were to be broken, it would gather the hatred and evil of mankind and confer it upon the one who wields it, transforming him into the devil incarnate. However, not even those of the dragon lineage who protect it know the true extent of its power. The dragon sword, another weapon, protected by the dragon lineage since ancient times. This sword, which is said to have been used by ancient warriors to slay the black dragons, is now handed down from generation to generation in the Hayabusa ninja clan, the modern descendants of the dragon lineage. And now, the dragon sword is gripped firmly in the hands of young ninja. Ryu Hayabusa. This is another game that uh, really reminds me of uh, Genji. Um, if you want to see what Genji looks like, a little bit of what Genji looks like, uh, check out Viper 29's uh, video. He put up one of uh, Genji and uh, Throughout the game, you'll get these uh, kind of little shurikens with the um, with the flower on the back, um, the cherry blossom on the back. And they just tell you what's going on and where to look, where to go, things like that. Helpful notes. This is the first stage, it's kind of, you know, more or less a tutorial. Um, This game does get uh, pretty, you know, pretty cool. Um, a lot of different interactions.
plate this is going to be a couple minutes here before I can figure out where I'm supposed to go. really is a, you know, it, it starts off like this, but once you get into the game, the outer looks change, you know, your guy really looks pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it has a Onimusha kind of look to it as well, where he's collecting the orbs. Um, if you haven't played Onimusha or you don't know what Onimusha looks like, I'll put up a video of that next so you can get a comparative idea of what it looks like. Just want to show you what uh, Ninja Guy looks like for the Xbox, and uh, like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. <laughs>